Hey guys, so this video is going to introduce the concept of a scatter plot. So we've looked at the uh, relationships between dependent and independent variables, and now we've just got to put those into play using some data. So I've gone out and I've taken a survey. So I asked six of my friends, who are all people at least five years older than me, and I've asked them what their incomes are, and I've recorded their age and their income. So I've got one guy who was 25 and made $40,000, a guy who was 30, 60,000, a guy who was 35, made 68,000, a guy who was 40, made 100,000, a guy who was 45, made 120,000, and a guy who was 50, made 150,000. So the first thing we've got to do before we can make our scatter plot is work out our independent and dependent variable. So we've got to work out which one depends on the other. So we'll try it out. So we might say A, so we could have one of two things. We could have age depends on income, or we could have income depends on age. So if you look at it, it seems kind of silly to say age depends on income. That means that if you were, say, the more you earned, the older you would be. It seems more logical to say that income depends on age. That is, the older you are, the more income you'll earn. So we're probably likely to choose this bottom one here and say income depends on age. So if income depends on age, income will be dependent. and age will be independent. So age will be our x and income will be our y. And if we remember we had our y-axis here and this will be income and we had our x-axis down here so this will be age. So we can now start to draw up our scatter plot because we know which is the independent and which is the dependent. So what we're going to need first is sort of a scale. So we know we've got ages between 25 and 50. So I'll draw this little squiggle here which means that the axis does not start at zero. And we can start drawing our ages. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ages and they range from 25 to 50. And then on this axis we have our income. So it goes from about, and I'll draw this symbol again to show the axis doesn't start at zero, goes from about 40,000 all the way up to 150,000. So when we're drawing a scatter plot, what we want to do is we just take our observations, and I'll do this in this red color. We take our observations, so we look at our observation number one, and we look at the age, which is our x variable. We find the corresponding age down here, and then we go up and we go up until we're at the corresponding y value. So the corresponding y value is 40, so we'll move upwards until we hit 40, and we just put a dot there. So that's how we plot our age and our income for the first observation. For the second observation, we repeat the process. So we go to our 30, and we know we have an income of 60. So we go up. So that would be an income of 40. So we'd say an income of 60 would be a little bit above that, maybe about there. And that would be our second observation. Then we go to the next observation, which is at 35, and we've got an income of 68. So this is our third observation. So we go to our third observation, and we go up, and we plot that there, which is roughly about 68,000. We go to our fourth, which is 40,000, and we're up to about 100k, so there's a big jump there. And we just plot that. That's our fourth observation. And we go to our fifth, which is 45 and 120. 
So we go to our 45 and we go all the way up to 120. Should be about here. And that's our fifth observation. And then we go to our sixth. And we plot that. That would be 50. And we read up until we hit 150. And that would be our scatter plot for our age versus income. Now the reason we like scatter plots is because they're very handy and they let us display data and get an idea of what is happening with the relationship. So we can see here that as we would expect, as your age increases, it's likely that your income will increase. So this is what the scatter plot lets us draw the conclusion of. So it says as our age increases our income is likely to increase but it's just one very handy way of displaying our bivariate data. So I'll get into the importance of scatter plots in a little bit and the properties of them but that's just how we draw one. Thanks guys.